It's taking some mill scale off. That is a piece of uh, 5 8 inch plate that uh, we beveled and took the mill scale off. Now I'm going to put it in place there and uh, just weld it a little gusset in. First I want to clean up this area where it's going to be so I can rub it nicely. some uh, pieces to raise that plate up and that should raise it up to the middle Check this. Pretty good. Let's see if I can do this in one pass. Here we go. Grinding blade doesn't do mill scale very well. That silicon carbide blade just cuts right through it. Alright, trying to get a fit up in a nice bevel where I can get some deep penetration. The height of my application is a little different than Don's. Mine's going to be 10 feet. from the floor to the bolt hole on this pattern. So, this needs to be cut right there. All right. Oh, 
up, John. Yeah, you do. Of course, that's, that's a constant. How much this battle with me? determine where your arm goes on your post to uh, make sure it clears all the obstacles. In my shop, there's a uh, ten and a half foot ceiling in that area, so that's not my limitation. There is a uh, garage door hanger rail or a track rail that comes out from the wall, and I need to clear that by a couple of inches. So I went and measured it. It's at nine foot seven is where the bottom of that rail is. So I've moved over my arm to where the top of my arm has got two inches of clearance. The dolly rides on the bottom flange, so nothing will ever protrude above that. So I just left myself a you know little measurement there for in case I screw up. Uh, one of the common things that I've seen when we had to do Don's is we looked for his lights because his post and mounting bracket go to a ceiling whereas this is open another foot above it but he had some uh, fluorescent light fixtures so we had to drop this down six inches below the ceiling height so we clear all those. So I've got it all fitted up all at a nice 90 degree angle I'm going to roll this pipe back and clean off the mill scale of it, put it up there and weld it solid. Bring you back when I'm through. It's good. I've been buying these uh, wheels for mill scale. Them little five packs. They look like a flapper wheel, but they're not. They're molded that way. And it's a uh, semi-flexible silicone carbide disc made by uh, Mercer Abrasives. I think I got them on eBay. They work wonderful. All right, we're going to get set up for welding, and I'll be right back. All right, time for the green shirt. Where's my Michael Jackson bus? Here it is. That's me. That's hot. That, that's a
Looking good. I can wear my glasses. Yes, I know that this process really doesn't need the mill scale removed. It's pretty hot and it'll go through it like nothing. This is, it took me three, four, five minutes to do that. And this thing's hanging weight over my head. So I'm going to do everything I can to make it work the best I can. Okay guys, this is uh, almost ready to install, just need to paint it. That's the top plate that goes into the end of this pipe right here. And you adjust it up and down like an inch. Uh, this is the brace and the gusset all welded in. Right up to the end, welded on a stop so the dolly can't come off the end down there. And then there's the bottom plate with the trailer ball ready and there's its cut. So all in all, Don has pushed me to finish two of these this week alone. A new world record. I'll bring you back when we get it installed. Thanks for watching.